Welcome to the Trenton, New Jersey manufacturing plant for Trojan latex condoms. We'll take you through the entire manufacturing process, from the time the raw material, the latex, is compounded at the plant through the packaging of the final product, the Trojan condom that you know and trust. The latex used for manufacturing condoms is a natural material derived from the rubber plant. In its original form, the latex is a white liquid that has the consistency of milk. It is stored in drums for a day or so during which time the latex is tested to ensure that it conforms to Trojan's standards. This is generally known as the feeding room, where the latex is fed into the manufacturing line. Glass formers called mandrels are dipped into the liquid latex. Glass is used because it coats smoothly, helping to prevent defects from forming on the surface and permits easy removal from the mandrel. Then the mandrels are lifted so that the first coat of latex can dry. The dipping and drying procedure is repeated a second time and in the case of colored condoms like Trojan Plus, the pigmented latex is applied in the second dipping. These condoms have a reservoir tip end found on most Trojan condoms. Next, the rim or ring of the latex condom is formed by the action of two cylinders which pick up the film and roll it onto itself, forming a ring. The cylinders roll the latex to the length of seven and a half inches, the industry standard length for condoms. Quality control and testing are of primary importance. Bob Lauer is manager of the Trojan plant. Trojan brand condoms that are manufactured here in Trenton are all electronically tested, 100%. The test consists of a condom being placed on a stainless steel mandrel that is 15% larger than the condom itself. This additional stretch enables us to pick out even a small pinhole. The condom and mandrel then conveyed through a water bath where an electronic charge is placed on the bath to the mandrel. If the circuit is complete, then that indicates there's a defect and the condom is rejected. The reject mechanism consists of an air cylinder which is tripped by this completed circuit. And then when the condom reaches the takeoff stage, it is automatically put into a reject bin. The air inflation test consists of inflating a latex condom at a standard rate which is 25 liters per minute. Then the braking strength is recorded. The minimum braking strength allowed is one kilopascal over the braking volume of 25 liters. This is the industry standard and also the international standard. Trojan brand condoms consistently inflate to a higher volume before braking. Another one of the tests performed is the water leakage test, which is simply filling the condom with 300 milliliters of water and checking for pinholes. Also conducted is the tensile and elongation test, which measures the percent elongation and the braking strength. This is one of the most important tests for measuring the characteristics of the finished product. In the case of Trojan brand condoms, they will stretch at least seven and a half times their original length. Following these rigorous quality control tests, the condoms are prepared for lubrication and continue to the foiling stage. A final inspection checks a condom's physical properties and seal integrity. Then Trojan condoms are packaged and prepared for shipment nationwide. Mark Klein is Vice President of Marketing for Trojan Condoms. More than a million condoms are sold every day in America, with over half of them being produced in our Trenton facility. We at Carter Wallace are committed to maintaining the highest quality standards and testing procedures to ensure that we are the most trusted and number one selling condom in America. For more information about condoms, we urge you to write to the Condom Information Center. Thanks for your interest in Trojan.